There's the George Washington Bridge. GWB, you can sit right there, right? Cliff is pretty illegally uh, kind of shoehorned himself into this traffic. We might be swapping some pain here. It's all right. Robin's racing. Bro. Rob, yeah. <laughs> you ain't cheating. You ain't trying. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, man. It's going to take us. Ahead. It's going to take us 48 minutes to go 11 miles. That's a generous estimation. FYI. Whatever. Generous, my friend. Generous. Wild. How'd it go? Talk to me. Talk to me. C three. Jersey. Um, it, it went good. I mean, there was a there was a ton of talent in the room. There was a ton of great coaches that came. Um, I uh, I got some good feedback from the parents that came. Good feedback from from the coaches that came. You know, we're, we're going to continue to make things better and better as much as we can. Um, of course, this time of year, I get a lot of calls from people wanting to do them in other parts of the country, you know, so we're maybe exploring some other opportunities, but, you know, um, just making sure we got what we're doing now, what we're doing now down right, you know, um, and continuing to build off that. But that was good, man. It was uh, a good closeout. We did five this year, so that was the fifth one. We got a good closeout to it, got a, got a lot of data. Got a lot of, get starting to build some more stories now, you know, so we can tell those stories and, you know, next year or, or as this year closes out, this season closes out and some of these kids start signing and going to different schools and maybe start hearing some more stories about the coaches that picked them up from the schools. It just, it gives us more, you know, uh, value to add to, to it, to everything. So Potential know. opportunities, potential sites. Yep. When you say that to me. Lay something on me here. Let's, let's talk. I mean, of course, I've gotten, I mean, um, Hivner up in, in Ohio's hit me up for, you know, wanting to do one up in that area. Um, and, you know, the uh, it was a uh, – talk to a talk to a coach, the ETC coach um, that was there from Kentucky about doing one in Louisville and, you know, kind of pulling from, you know – Indiana, Ohio, um, things like that. I, I'd actually talked to Izzy a little bit about do, maybe doing one out in Illinois, but there again, you know, there's kids all over the country that want to wrestle in college, but these college coaches can only come to so many of these things. Um, and, you know, the more I kind of think about it, the more I talk to these, like, D3, D2, you know, JUCO and AIA coaches, is like, it, th these things are invaluable to them. Not that the D1 coaches don't appreciate them and don't think they're a great tool, but they have more resources to do that type of stuff. So um, just maybe doing more, but doing more that are geared towards the D3, the D2, and, 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 and other classifications, and not maybe not even having D1 coaches there. And then the kids kind of know. Um, but there again, you know, I get feedback, anything from, you know, allowing kids to upload their transcripts when they register to, you know, having a database on our website that, that lists all the schools, majors and things like that. So it, it just helps educate people. And I know one thing we are going to do for next year, um, this guy got you caught slipping, dude, this snake. Um, <laughs> one thing. I'm that was gonna, a traffic move, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack commuted into Atlanta for like this is George 16. Washington George Washington Bridge, yeah. uh, FYI. Okay. Um, Just wanted to give context. You know, people didn't see what we were doing here. Yeah. So, um, but one thing I'm I'm definitely going to work on between now and next year is have a packet that we can give to the parents digitally in and print it out that says exactly what you got to do to get your son re son or daughter recruited. You know what I'm saying? The NCA clearinghouse testing, all that stuff, all that little stuff that a lot of people don't know, don't have a clue about, um, you know, just something that's get, got, has a guide for them to go do that. You know? So we're not, at, we're not only getting kids in front of college coaches, we're giving them great training. We're being able to, you know, have them evaluated. Now we're giving them, now we're giving them tools to actually go, you know, through the entire process. So just, just making it better and better and better. And, you know, okay. trying not to, trying not to over saturate it. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you're at the saturation point? Where do you feel like you are right now? What do you, where do you think you feel like a, a, a good market to open up would be? You know, Washington, I think that's wide open. Yeah, yeah, we. I, I, there's Texas. Been a couple, there's been a couple coaches that, that mentioned that. The only thing, the immediate thing I think about when we do something distant like that is, there are D three D two schools. There's the, the Division one schools got to travel a decent distance. So. Um, 
just making sure that it's a, you know it's a it's a good fit for everybody you know and I, I think Washington could be it was great great wrestling up there Washington was you know up in that area you know Texas obviously has a, a lot of wrestling but there again you know getting getting the programs the programs being able to get there pretty easy so you know that's a um, that's that's something that we're you know exploring and we're figuring out how much money you got? <laughs> get in there! You get in there! You get in there! I love it! You gotta love it! You gotta love it! You gotta pay me a dime. Oh, but you feel good. You gave him some southern hospitality. I made a man laugh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So next, next. Could we have one where I don't have to stay in a hotel? That's that's my major concern. So you want to do one at your house? We could roll them out in the yard and do an outside one. Um, I think one. I think Ohio's a no-brainer. Believe it or not, we hadn't had a. We had, I don't need. I don't, have we had ever had an Ohio coach attend a C3 event? Man, I'm thinking. Maybe maybe a D2. Well, on this count, Cody going. Walters count. Well, that no, because he's not an Ohio coach. It was <laughs> right. Gardner Webb. Yeah. You know, like so. I mean, there's enough. There's enough programs in Ohio for just if just the Ohio college coaches come. Well, they I mean, they're all the D2s and D3s we have are just like sure, and crazy. And there's tons of wrestling up there. So I think Ohio's a no-brainer. You know, it's definitely something I'm going to get with Hivner on and figure out the right place to do it. I really like Scott Hivner and, you know, Vic Foyne. I don't even know what just happened. I don't even know what that move was. Just took it was a left-hand turn. It was, it was a jack move. Continues left straight to I-95 North it. Upper Level. Watch this. This guy thinks he's Oh, oh he's loving me. I love it. The interviews don't get much better than this. We're, listen, we are, listen, you know what we're doing? I'm about to give him a reason to paint that bumper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to catch up with you when you're not so uh, focused on getting onto the, the George Washington Bridge, all right? All right, later.